It's five o'clock in the morning and I can't sleep. And so I thought I would record. I can't sleep because I've got loads and loads of stuff going around and around in my head. Um, and it was kind of triggered by the fact that the event I was speaking at yesterday happened for the first time three years ago and I was supposed to be speaking at that event and I didn't, I couldn't, I had to withdraw at the last minute which was something that was happening a lot of the time because I was really unwell um, and it was shortly before um, my kind of anorexia and stuff got to its very, very worst and um, I found myself speaking at this event yesterday which was all about mental health and just reflecting I guess on how far I'd come and there was something that one of the other speakers said about perfectionism and kind of nothing ever feeling like it was good enough. And it made me just stop and say to myself, am I enough? Is this life that I'm making for myself enough? And the really nice thing was actually that when I was absolutely honest with myself and I really stopped and reflected on it, I realized that yes, um, that I always feel like I should be doing more. I always feel guilty that I don't work harder or feel there's more change I should be making in the world or I need to be a better parent or a better wife or whatever. Like I will always, always be someone who can pick fault with what I'm doing. But when I just stopped in that moment and thought, am I happy? Is my life okay? Like, what am I trying to do here? I just realized that maybe now maybe maybe I'm enough and I don't know I guess it was something I just wanted to share really because I think mental health and mental illness it's it's a massive journey and I think when I've been at my illest then I've always kind of imagined myself kind of working towards being more and more well and kind of yeah I don't know imagining this bright and beautiful future when everything's perfect and it's all rainbows and unicorns and that's fantastic um but actually reality isn't like that reality reality is messy it's good days and bad days it's great days and awful days and it's kind of everything in between um and for me kind of getting and staying well like well enough has been about accepting the mess that is day-to-day -day life and enjoying the good bits when they come along and allowing myself that so like I'm in here in Jersey right now because I was invited to speak at an event I love Jersey it's amazing my family came over we had the most wonderful 48 hours so we're not going to have a big holiday this summer but we had two days in Jersey and the sun shone we dipped our feet in the sea in fact we all ran around in the sea and had fun times and we smiled and laughed and made some really happy memories um and then after the event you know normally most conference because they come in they go out they do their thing i didn't i hung around i stayed here for an extra day and i'm gonna go for a coastal walk uh, later on and enjoy the cliffs and enjoy the sea um, and just be and just enjoy it and the kind of ability to allow myself to do that, giving myself permission to stop, to slow down, just to enjoy life, is it's really new. Um, and I think maybe people talking to me now would think I'm really well adjusted and doing pretty well and that's really good. And you know, some of the young people I worked with yesterday said, you know, I'm inspirational. I never feel inspirational. I feel every day like I'm the swan. I'm frantically paddling all the time. And maybe it might appear effortless, but I'm working really hard every day but trying increasingly to live in the moment so yeah maybe i'll talk about it more in other videos because this is quite an important thing for me this journey i'm thinking about things like my consumption of stuff like i'm trying to buy less i'm trying to enjoy the little things more i'm trying to spend more quality time with people rather than just spending time with lots of people and i'm trying to just stop and breathe so with that <laughs> Having said I want to stop and breathe and I can't sleep and it's five o'clock in the morning and it's beautiful here in Jersey, I'm going to stop and I'm going to just sit here, I'm going to look out at the sea, I'm going to listen to the waves and the birds, I'm going to let my brain do its thinking, whatever it is, it's keeping me awake and I'm just going to be accepting of how things are right now and I'm going to allow myself to stop, to breathe and to enjoy. I'm just gonna allow myself to enjoy. So, yeah, rambling. I mean, boy, can I ramble. Five o'clock in the morning, it seems I can ramble even more than usual, but that's okay. You take care. I hope that you can find some joy in today as well, um, that today is kind to you and that there are some good moments there.